But let's talk about League's Cup because there was a lot of chatter around our friend, Dax McCarty. Yeah. A post. Basically, hey, we lost, but hey, I got Messi's jersey, so I won. And I love Dax, and I don't have any problem with this, but there's a lot of people going, you know, why would he, why is he celebrating this when they lost and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know. I want to just say get over it. I don't, I don't, like, he, I think he was pissed, obviously. They, it was 1 1. They fought back from being down a goal. They lose on the 10th penalty. Like, shit happens. And, yeah. and at the end, Dax gets the the luxury or the benefit or the honor of switching jerseys with Leo Messi, arguably the greatest of all time, in my humble opinion, the greatest of all time. I'd be thrilled. I'd be flexing on everybody as well. Maybe he should have waited a couple days if you want to nitpick here, but I don't have any problem with it. Where are you on this? Yeah, I think timing is everything, obviously. It's hard. What I will say is, you know, I've known Dax since his, basically his first year playing professionally and playing with him in Dallas, like, he is a massive, massive student and fan of the game, right? This is a f monumental moment f for him. It's not like he just, you know, Jimmy, you play with a lot of guys that just play, you know, mm -hmm. um, and just play because they're gifted enough to play and they train hard, and, but they're, it's indifferent. Like this guy is like a 20 year pro and a massive fan of and student of the game. And so like having that we're getting that shirt um is pretty hollow ground because you know there's not a lot of them going around right now and so do i think the timing of it is tough yeah i think that's probably like you're in a final to get your team their first silverware it is a total loss it's not a total loss for him personally you know what i mean like you can understand the fan base being like hey you know like did you not care if you watch the game and you saw the game, you realize it was one of the best finals I've seen in a long time, right? In I terms agree. of either team could have won. It went both ways. The momentum swung. It wasn't just like one team has to stop the other team. And if they do it perfectly and then they score, they'll win. Like it went both ways and it could have been either team uh, that, that won that one in the end. And when it comes down to penalties and the way that it did 10 rounds, you're kind of like all bets are off at that point. Um, and so, but again, timing of it is tough. Like I, I what I, I guess what I'm saying is, Put this in the context anywhere else in the world, Jimmy, right? Um, Real Madrid lose a cup final um, to, or Real Madrid win a cup final and the player from the other team does this with a Ronaldo or Benzema or whatever. I think the, I think no matter who this is, I think it's a sign of, 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 of kind of the, the supporter culture that's been developed in the U S like this would not be acceptable anywhere else in the world um, either. Um, but I love Dax, you know? Uh, and I give him, I give him a, a pass because I know him. Um, but at the same time, if you're a fan, that's like, dude, you know, like this was a final and we lost, I'm not saying you got to be like depressed and like, you know, turn your social media off for a couple of weeks and like do that whole thing. But it's more, it's less so the Jersey. It's more so the caption, you know, that tonight wasn't a total loss. Like, yeah, we lost, but like, I got this guy's Jersey. Um, that's to me is where I think the problematic nature of it is less yeah. so posting the photo in some ways. And I understand what you're saying you don't like dax mccarty but what i'm <laughs> he was actually really good in that game too he's been really good uh this season yes, i thought that he he'd be winding down um this year in his role but um it's been fantastic he's been very good this season he has 489 appearances over his time in mls with playoffs and everything included which he's close to 500 which really speaks to yeah i'd be saying where were you guys the last 488 games huh you guys didn't have nothing to say for 488 games and now well, also, also now you want to talk I think he needs to be judged on his actions on the field. If, if he was out there, you know, kissing Messi's ass the whole time during the game and then got his jersey, he'd be like, dude, what's the deal? But the fact that he's out there battling, giving everything for the team, that that's ultimately the sign of what really matters. And I think all of us would be, if anything, we're just jealous that he got Messi's jersey. <laughs> hey, how did he <laughs> get it? Like, I want to know. I don't how know, actually. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. But I, I do remember catching some flack. We played, remember we played Germany in the friendly in, in, in 06 before the World Cup? And we we was zero zero at half just to catch everybody up, and we lost four one. We we did not play well in the second half. After the game, when you know you're a little dejected, I'm walking off. I I shake hands with Michael Bollock, and we we exchange jerseys. And I remember getting some heat. There's social media obviously wasn't as prevalent or anywhere near as prevalent as it is now, but I still caught some heat from a coach who said, "Hey, that's not a good look because it's it was on TV. Like it's not a good look for you to be changing jerseys with a player after a loss." And I was like, 
it just was it was so natural it, it was it was kind of like just commemorating the the, the moment and it, it was a mutual thing between Bollock and I it wasn't like me like being a super fan so mm-hmm. I, I actually took exception to that comment but I got a, a warm yellow shirt that game who'd you get a warm yellow oh you did yeah um that's who I changed shirts with. By the way, but but I, I got the same thing, Jimmy. I, I changed shirts with Steve Trendolo after a game in the Bundesliga. And because I came out to talk to him after a loss and our team was like fighting relegation, like I was front page of the of the tabloid the next day calling me what's the word is called Plaudotasha, which is like basically gossiper. Um <laughs> and like attacking me for like being like, No, you don't get to be a human when your team is struggling and like see another American teammate and talk to them. Um I remember that being like a legitimate uh like i remember being like really sad about that because like the tabloids rule the world at that time and where i was in germany you can't defend um, yourself. not always true you can't defend yourself yeah. right right for better or worse um right i gotta love heath on the front page of a german tabloid it was the regional tabloid of build <laughs> so it wasn't like i was like on the country's newspaper you know no one cared there but where i lived people cared uh, about whatever was being said there um yeah, yeah. I, I think at the end of the day, Dax, okay, maybe with what you were saying, caption choice, maybe not the best, but he got Messi's jersey in 10 years, 15, mm-hmm. 20 years. He made, yeah, whatever, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I got the GOATS jersey and mm-hmm. we played a great game against them. And and uh, I was on the field and we competed and we had a chance to win and maybe should have there at the very end. And penalties is always a coin flip. So I got no problem with it. I think it's, uh, as someone said in the comments, a nothing burger. So, mm. yeah.